Hello again. I've been drawing a new helmet. Um, the last one, this is the one I used a few weeks ago. And uh, of course that one has a central, yeah, what is it called? Like a half round and that sculpt, <laughs> sculpted edge. And then uh, smaller ones to the side. But on the bed crown, it has uh, like a center partition, it's almost like hair. <laughs> center partition and then two sculpts on the either side or more because it's going round. And here's the, the test piece I used and uh, it's that one. So I made it a little bit longer, um, but I used the same size as the, the original drawing. Don't pay attention to those measurements. They don't have anything. Actually, actually, those are the measurements of my Advent uh, Christmas room box because someone was asking about them. So I had to write them down and I used the, the old template for that. Anyway, uh, it's not very complicated. I just um, drew a rectangle, divided it in half, then in half again, and then those two halves divided that in half again then use my calipers and I put them while well, I drew a line put them in on that centerpiece and went to the middle line there and then just drew a half circle now I did make some mistakes and I tried out different things but ended up with that one that one is correct that side so I'll just cut that out and then I have another template to work with and the way to do that to get equal sides is just fold it in half And cut out one side there now it's perfectly symmetrical on both sides and this has the same I don't know if I can get that in the shot. Oops, sorry. It fell. So that is the same as that. Uh, Denise mentioned that um, I should photocopy the fabric, which I did. And now I can, you know, this, as, this uses as my template and then, um, you know, slide it round and see where uh, the pattern would be best. Well, of course you can do that with your uh, fabric as well, but the point here is that you can cut it out and try it in the room without uh, wasting your fabric. A very clever idea, so thank you Janine for that tip. I've cut two more and I just didn't pay attention to the pattern. That one is the one where the pattern is correct. Um, the only thing is I think they're too long and I kind of already knew that because of the green one I made. I also felt it was a touch long and I'm still not sure about the scalloped edge or the sculpted edge. Um, I think it's a bit frilly. So I'll cut some more and a bit sh a bit shorter, <laughs> a little bit shorter, and I think it's better already. But I'm going to try it even shorter and even shorter. Now I know because I can see both the original and the camera at the same time <laughs> because I'm looking at it. Um, on camera it looks shorter, and maybe it's because I'm up higher. I'm not sure. 
but um, it looks a lot shorter. But I do like this length. Um, that's a lot better than uh, what was there before. I'm trying to keep the light in there. Um, I quite like it. Um, maybe if I put like a fringe on it or some kind of edging uh, it would have to be shorter still so and here I just I just fold it over Oops, sorry I fold it over the top so don't look at the pattern it's just uh, because it was easier to do um, I'll have a go at uh, making a fringe well not a real fringe but something on there Let's see what it looks like but I do like this length. See how with that different angle it looks a lot shorter. <laughs> it's the same, the same uh, as I just showed you. It looks a lot shorter because you're looking at it. And of course, this room is um, on the what is it? Uh, second level, so it's the third room. So there's three. There's the basement level then there's the main floor and then there's the bedrooms so that's three levels and so you'll be if you're standing in front of this doll's house eventually you'll be looking up a little bit so um it shouldn't be too short i think that might be the right length um let me just try some fringing on there There, I made a fringe. <laughs> it's paper, but um, it looks okay. I, I quite like it actually. Um, see, the more you do, uh, the light is pretty bad. I think it will be okay. I'll go ahead and make one and uh, out of the silk and um, I quite like it the center one the one with the fringe <laughs> I just quickly wanted to show you this. Um, as you probably know, I am part of the Board of Miniature in Tune, which is an organization running a miniaturist summer school in Denmark. Now, one of our teachers, Timea Vajon from the UK, is teaching two doll sculpting classes in July 2024. But she recently was commissioned to create the dolls for the opening sequence of a new television program called Toy Hospital, which airs on Channel 5 in the UK. And here's a little clip Timea sent me. It's so wonderful. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show you everything, so it's just a few seconds. But it's just too much fun not to show you. And uh, Toy Hospital is a series of six programs and episode three airs tonight. And if you're outside of the UK, you need a VPN to watch it. And here I started making the pelmets and I copied them onto acid-free paper and cut them out. Folding them in half and cutting them to get them symmetrical on both sides of course and then um, I put them I traced them onto felt and you don't have to do this but I like to put the felt on it just gives it a little bit more body because the, the silk itself is quite thin so and I glued it onto the paper uh, with a very thin layer of glue then I placed the belmet onto the fabric and I had to get the pattern right in the center so that always takes up a little bit more fabric and I also wanted to make the trim and I've done this before and I cut this is a brocade fabric so there's on the back of the fabric there's a weave and it it's a floating weave so I cut the, the silk threads from the floating weave off from the back and that's what I use to make the um, fringe and I just, it's just a, a strip of glue and then 
glue on these uh, uh, threads of the silk. And you can do this with all kinds of thread, wool or, or uh, embroidery floss, or, and you can make your own trim and it's, it's really not that hard. Okay, the fringe is still drying and um, of course I cut all these pelmets and put the layers on. Now, uh, I didn't intend to put this silk on here, but because I cut away the, the um, uh, silk on the back to make the fringe, um, when I put it on the on top of the felt, you could tell, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but where the felt, where the silk is cut, the white shines through a little bit. And if I put the green silk on there, it doesn't. So just a little extra step. It's quickly done. I just wanted to quickly show you because I, I had already started how easy it is to pull up, pull off these um, uh, this fringe, uh, which I just glued onto the plastic, and I can now glue it on the back of my palmets. Looks like that now, really ugly, doesn't matter. Um, it will be covered in the back with also with a paper covered silk. And I think I'll be using white silk. So when you look at the window from the outside, you can see it will be white. Now I will glue this along here. And once it's glued, I'm going to cut it off because, of course, now it looks terrible, but that doesn't matter. Now I have to glue this. I think that's enough. Now, as that dries, I can... to shape. I'll make it shorter, but I'll start doing it not too short. That looks pretty good. Make it a little bit shorter. I always find it hard to cut. Like this, this way is easy, but then that way is a lot harder. It's still a little bit long. like that <laughs> yeah we'll try it in the in the room now what I didn't do with this one is um, I'll show you and I think I've showed it to you before 
Um, but of course you can make it neater a lot quicker if you have to. In my case it doesn't really matter because it's going to be on the back and it's going to be covered with um, uh, some white silk so you won't be seeing all that messy. <laughs> And it really does look messy. Uh, I'm a bit ashamed of myself. <laughs> uh, I guess I was being a little bit lazy there. But I have one of these. How does it work again? I don't use it a lot. <laughs> I think they're called... Uh, uh, what are they called? Rotary cutters. And uh, of course you can just... Cut that off. Use a metal ruler. There you can see that looks a lot neater. And uh, I cannot remember in which episode, I, probably while I was making the bed, I probably showed you how to do that. But you can make your own fringe easily. So let me just glue that onto here. And uh, finish those. There's the finished one. Um, I forgot to show you, but on the back I put some white cotton uh, with some paper backing as well. And I, I was going to put silk on there, but it was very, very thin. So I decided I'd put cotton. And it's just to, when you're looking from the outside uh, through the windows, you won't see those ugly <laughs> uh, edges. So it's just to make it look a little bit nicer. So here you can see what it looks like on the outside. Um, just the white with a little bit of the fringe. And of course the outside, it's not finished at all. I still have to work on that. That will take years, I think. So the other ones are in and I'm just putting them down with a little bit of tape at the moment um, because I still have to do a lot of work to this room. So I don't want to be sticking them down yet. Plus, <laughs> there. I like it. Uh, on the other hand, I am still not sure. Let me change the light in this room. Let's see if we can see it better. I don't have any light fixtures yet for this room. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on here or hang down here. A chandelier probably and some uh, candlesticks. I'm not sure yet. Um, like I said, it's hard to see, I think, on camera. The color looks different. Of course it's not, you know, it's the same fabric, but the angle, uh, well, you know all this. If the angle changes, the light hits it differently, then the color changes. And it looks a little bit darker. Um, uh, I <laughs> just not sure uh, I think I like it I'm going to leave it like this and um, in the end when 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 I finished the entire room all the furniture is in and I still don't like it or if I don't like it let's say because I do like it now but I'm just not 100% sure 
Um, I can still change it. It's not a big deal. Well, I put a little bit of furniture in there. And like I said last time, uh, it always changes the look of a room when you put furniture in there, obviously. <laughs> but um, with the furniture, it looks a lot better, I think. Um, well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.